I was gonna say good morning to everybody, but I just happened to look over the clock and see it's like 118. So it's not morning. Sort of feels like morning for me. I feel like I've been awake for um, a long time. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Talk about a week. It has been, I, I tell you, probably one of the best, best, best weeks I've had in, I don't even know, I can't even tell you when. I mean, like last Monday, I get up like super, super early in the morning. I'm up most of all of the night, Sunday night, drive to Barry, um, hang out with my team members there and do like three meetings and, um, you know what? I just totally, totally love this profession. I love being in uh, an entrepreneur and working from home and setting my own schedule, my own hours. Um, network marketing and direct sales has totally transformed my life. And, and I look at this being, I'm entering my fourth year in network marketing. My anniversary was on June 4th. And uh, so I go to Barry and I you know, go to this meeting and they go to that meeting. And then we just like had a blast. I was forced outside my comfort zone and had to drive to downtown Toronto, uh, to Bloor street. So, um, yeah, I was just like forced to drive down there, had a blast, so much fun, just laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing the whole time stuck in traffic. Oh, well accident, you know, we were so late for our meeting, but that's okay. Right. I mean, we got there and everybody understands in Toronto is the traffic. And so we get to my girlfriend, Mary's place and she's like, yeah, I got this place to sleep with you for sleep for you. And so, you know, crashing on the couch and my, one of my business partners, he's on the other couch and you know, it's just like this great big slumber party. And then the day after that Tuesday, I'm back downtown Toronto and just, you know, it, it, it was, was hilarious. We had uh, amazing meetings and walk into restaurants that I would never go to before. And I'm like, okay, well, let's just, you know, go with it. I mean, like, what else, what else do you do? Right. And then Wednesday was like awesome, crazy, just amazing. More meetings, more team members. Got lost on my way to my niece's place. I uh, did a quick live. I think I did a live about it on the way home. Get home Thursday. Hardly have any sleep on Thursday at all. And then I'm up bright and early to go pick up Mr. Smith at the airport. And back down to Barry we go, which was like, we had so much fun. I've never laughed so much in my life. Um, met with some of the team there and then unexpectedly we had somebody that wanted to meet with us so we drove to to Scarborough and then we had to drive home but the fun part in that was is that uh, Dennis was DJing and I was using our van so <laughs> I'm like hey um sorry dude <laughs> I know you're at a wedding or you're at an event and you're DJing um you're gonna have to have somebody come pick you up because I'm not gonna be home till like 3 30 in the morning so yeah, three thirty in the morning we get back, and then up like three hours, four hours later, breakfast. Meet with amazing people here in Sudbury, um, and did an event there, and then, you know, just the rest of Saturday was just just amazing. And then Sunday, and then poor poor Don, he goes to get on his airplane Sunday night, and it's canceled from Sudbury Airport and his connecting flight in Toronto to Boston was like an hour and a half later and I drive fast but I can't drive that fast so um I'm like well what time can you fly out of Toronto he's like oh 6 30 in the morning already then <laughs> so we did a road trip at like 11 o'clock at night we leave Sudbury drive again downtown Toronto I've never been to Billy Bishop Airport in my life um had to that's where we were going, which driving in the middle of the night is not so bad because, like, like, there was no traffic. So, um, got there and I'm like, holy crap. I mean, we're like, um, there's the CN Tower right there and Union Station. And I'm like, oh, well, that's, that's an adventure. So I drop him off at like 530 in the morning, um, get to the 401 and I go east. I'm like, oh man, it's like, get off the 401. Get back on the 401, go east again. I'm like, are you kidding me, Cheryl? So, got off of again. Okay, now I know for sure. It took me two times, right? I mean, I'm a slow learner sometimes. Um, got on the 401 West, came back. So I'm like, yes, okay, got it. 
did really good. Stopped and had breakfast with one of my teammates, um, Shelly, which was awesome. Get on the road. Spent an hour on the phone with my girlfriend, Melanie, and I'm doing really, really good. Then we're just like, past Perry Sound and there's the two lanes and there's construction and stuff and you know the body twitching starts to happen when you're super super tired and you haven't gotten lots of sleep well that starts happening I'm doing the twitchy thing and I'm sitting there and all of a sudden my head pops and I'm like I need to pull over because <laughs> I don't want to die my team doesn't want me to die I'm sure Don doesn't want me to die I should probably pull over so I pulled over at the French River and had a nap and um, got back home and it was like, just go, go, go. We signed up a new team member yesterday. Um, oh my gosh, team members. So get this. I This is what I love about having something that is a product you can use globally. I get this email saying that someone had um, put in some information in lead capture form I had. And I'm like, that's cool. I'm going to email this person. So I emailed him. And then... Um, Yesterday, he purchased uh, the devices to use for his business. So I messaged him and I said, well, we should probably talk. So I, I asked him where he's from and he's in South Africa. I'm like, what? South Africa? <laughs> no way. Had a great conversation. Awesome business owner. Just excited, excited to work with him. Um, you know, there's big time difference, which I wasn't aware of because I was super tired and didn't even realize South Africa's like, you know on the other side of the world. Right, Henny? <laughs> totally didn't even pick up on that. But it was really great to meet with him and, and talk with him and learn more about his business and, and how he's going to use his devices. So I was like, super happy about that. Then another business owner down in Toronto, they were excited. And then I started getting messages from my team that they're signing, like, you know, there's, I say signing up people. It's always the worst, worst. I don't like saying that. Because really what we do with our Go units, we, we're sales and marketing. And so we help, whether you're a traditional business owner or you already have a network marketing or direct sales business, these devices help you promote your business. So I love that you love what you're doing and that you're passionate about it. Obviously, you started your network marketing company because you loved, love, love that product. You started your business because you're an entrepreneur and you had a vision. You you love doing hair or nails or a restaurant or um, being a realtor. That's something that you love. I want to help you be successful and do what you love and, and um, get up every day and um, do your hair but have no makeup on. So I'm sure when this video stops and I stop rambling, it's going to freeze me and I'm going to have a funny expression. But that's okay. It's just... That's what it is, right? So, anyway. So, that's what I was... It's been just sort of crazy. So, last night, I think my head my head hit the pillow. And I was asleep before it even hit the pillow. And got up this morning. And it's just like, go full force. Tomorrow, I'm headed off to Ottawa for Wednesday evening and all day Thursday. Probably driving home Thursday night late. Because I have some commitments on Friday. And that's my schedule. It's crazy, right? Canada Day is Saturday. Um, so we'll be celebrating that. And so here's a cool thing on July 8th is our official launch of our go units. So we're going to be having launch parties all over the States in different cities. We're going to have them in Canada. And so we're setting up a place for, for our uh, official party in, I think the Toronto area is where we're looking at for the eighth, which is like a week and a half away. So I'm telling you now. If you want to see this device, you need to come with us. You need to be, you need to be at this party. You've got to message me if you're in the Toronto area. Man, I've driven <clears throat> to Toronto three, three times since Monday. Yep. So, yeah, you know what? If it's an hour and a half away for you to come to our launch party and learn about this device and how it can help you grow your business, how it can help you market, reach more people, increase your bottom line, increase your visibility in your business. Cause that's ultimately what it's like. You can, you can pay and we've done it. We've paid radio ads. I've paid for magazine for a DJ service. And these radio ads and DJ services, they, they go like, they go all over the place. And if you're paying thousands of dollars a month to be in print ads or on the radio or whatever it is that you're doing, if if you have somebody who's hundreds of miles away, who's never going to come to your restaurants, not going to come to where you are, you know, is that a really good return on your investment? 
why not target your marketing for your local area? When I was in Dallas, my girlfriend, she was looking for a uh, uh, self-tanning or a tanner spray tan thing. We found one and we had to drive 25 minutes away to get to it because it was a good deal. Well, if I have my phone and I look to see what deals are going on in my area and I get my notification that says, you know, business XYZ has a sale on for spray tans, I know it's within 300 feet. I'm going to go to that and support a local business in my community, not something that's 20, 50 million miles away. I'm going to stay in my community because I want to support local. Um, we love the communities that we're in. You know, we love our neighbors. We love to see our, our fellow business people, uh, you know, restaurant owners. And I have a lot of friends in different businesses. And we want to see them succeed. So let's support. Let's support local. And this device helps you do that. So, yeah, so I finally got some sleep. And it's just been crazy, crazy day yesterday. And went to bed. And I woke up this morning. And I thought, okay. So, sometimes... I need a good kick in the butt. And I'm very blessed to say that I have people in my life who will give me said kick in the butt. They will sur surround that kick with love. Sometimes there's love and then there's like a whole bunch of kicks. <laughs> and then there's love. So it was discovered that um, I've been paying for a Chamber of Commerce membership for over two years. And I've never been. I've never been to a meeting. I've never attended one. I haven't helped any of the businesses in my community. I haven't learned what their needs are. I have totally been checked out on that. Smack to the forehead. So I made the promise I would do something about it. So this morning I got up. I took care of some of the concerns. Uh, not concerns, but, you know, when you have a very large team, our team is, is we are the second largest team in Canada. Yay! So um, with that comes questions and, and team support and so that was what I was doing first thing this morning so I took care of that and I'm like you know what let's do it so I called Charlene at Chamber of Commerce and I said okay I know I have an account I've been paying for this for over two years April 2015 uh, let's do it let's fix it I want to change all the information that's on there uh, no I don't want to promote this particular business let's get uh, a Serbia on their sales and marketing. This is what we're doing. I want to help the chamber members and let them know that this service is out there so that they can support their business too. So got that all fixed up. And then oh, I made a phone call, a phone call I've been terrified to make partly because I was scared that, um, it was, it's a level of commitment that I was scared of. Um, I am afraid of needles and I am never had surgery in my entire life ever. And I've never had a speeding ticket and I've been pulled over by the cops, which is good. So I'm like, no, 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 no. I am dollars away from qualifying for a free cruise in September for the company. So I'm going to be going on a cruise from Miami to the Bahamas to Key Largo and Caraway Bay, I think it is on um, one of the Royal Caribbean's uh, cruise ships. I have to figure out which one it is. It starts with an E. But anyway, at the end of September, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm like super, super excited to go. I'm like, okay, well, so here's the phone call. So I call Dr. Kettle's office here in Sudbury, and I have my consultation appointment set for August 24th which is going to be very awkward because it's, you know, you put yourself in a really vulnerable position to do that. But with weight loss, you know, Spanx can only do so much. <laughs> and I love wearing dresses and I have thoroughly loved every dress I've worn this last month, but I really need to have it taken care of. I got on the scale this morning and went, no way. I've been traveling, I had jelly beans, I ate out, and I've lost weight. What? So, yeah, I truly only have 22 pounds left to get to where um, I want the number to be. So, that's a good thing. Uh, so, I made the call, and she's like, yeah. She says, we can get you in for the consult on August 24th. And I said, okay, so, I had curiosity, because, you know, I know sometimes these things are, you know, you can't just go in one day and then have it the next day. I said, um, like, 
is it possible for me to have it in December? Because I've checked in December, January should be September. Yeah, should be good for having no events to go to until early in the new year of 2018. So I thought, you know, is it possible? Because I have on my, my, not just my vision board, but my 2017 board that in December I'm having this surgery. You can't have it unless you make the phone call. So I made the phone call. Yep. She says, yeah, when you come in, she says, you want a specific date in December, you just let us know this is how it works. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to have it done in December. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> like nearly freaked out. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I don't like surgery. I don't like needles. I don't like any pain. I'm not, I don't handle pain well, which is an oxymoron because I live with fibro, so I deal with pain all the time. Oddly enough, though, this past week with all the running around I've been doing, I haven't had really any symptoms with my fibro, except for a little bit of brain frog, from. but I think that was more from being tired. So, yeah, so it looks like, um, oh my god, I just said it out loud. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have my surgery in December. <laughs> so, excited. so my girlfriend Melanie's been a huge inspiration for that and we're both wuss wusses when it comes to pain but she's gone through it and she looks <laughs> amazing and so yeah so look at that taking names and kicking butt and working it and I am so excited for the next 90 days um, when I saw all my business partners in March and uh, you know, and they've seen me this last week, they're like 90 days. Like, I can't believe the difference in you in 90 days. You're just fearless and doing it and traveling and staying in people's homes and so outside your comfort zone. And, and I love it. I'm very blessed. I feel very, um, I feel very blessed. And that's about the only way I can say it. So we are now doing a 90 day blitz again and just in time for our cruise to start on September 24th. When am I flying out there? I got to fly to Miami. Ooh, yeah, I love Miami, South Beach. Woo -hoo. Um, I'm going to fly out on the 23rd of May, of September. 23rd of September, we go on our cruise, we come back. I'm looking at my calendar, that's why I'm not looking at you. Um... We come back, we have our official launch of our company, and then probably fly back um, to uh, the 2nd of October. <laughs> and then October. Oh my God, that'll be like two months before I need to have my surgery. Holy smokes. <laughs> it's so exciting. So lots of things are happening. Uh, lots of changes are happening, and I love it. Life is amazing. I so happy for all of you to be in my life and I get to share this with all of you and there's going to be ups and downs because life has them life is challenging but I've always been one of those people that just from the time I was a little girl I wanted more expected more I asked questions um, I never was able to just settle and say okay yeah this is good I like it no I love helping people, and I finally remembered who I truly am inside. Um, life kind of kicked that out of me for a very long time. But now that I remember who I am, I'm on a mission to help you remember who you are. And you do what you do in this life because you love it. So if you have something you're passionate about that you can get up in the morning and all of a sudden you realize it's 12 hours later... And you can't barely speak because your mouth is dry because you haven't drank any water all day and you haven't gone to the bathroom and why does my stomach hurt? Oh yeah, I haven't eaten yet today. You love what you do and you're passionate about it and that makes me happy. So, oh, thanks Tracy. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, I was, I was very afraid at one point in my life. You would not even imagine before June 4th on... June 3rd in 2014. I didn't go anywhere. I was I stayed at home. I went to work, but I never left my house. Never ever. Didn't go anywhere alone, didn't travel alone, didn't drive alone, let alone drive period. Um before June 2000 June is a very pivotal month for me in my life. I'm starting to notice. A lot of things have always happened in June that have either opened my eyes and caused me 
major major transformations in in a good way not that those trans not that those realizations didn't hurt because they do right when you change and you grow and you step into who you are the people around you are affected by that and they either come along or they don't um and the people you're meant to come into your life come into your life so uh yeah, a lot of things have always happened to me in June, all the way back to when I'm 18. I'm going to have to reflect on that a little bit. I didn't even realize that till just now. And here we are in June. And after this last week, my life is about to change very, very dramatically in the next 90 days. And I am beyond excited. And um, if that's something that you're looking for, if you want to change your life, you want to have cheerleaders to help you do that and support you, and. I got, I got, a, I got connections. I can hook you up with that. Uh, so yeah, I'm just happy to remember really, truly who I am inside and um, have no fear. Did I tell you this last week? There's like no fear. If I got to say something, I'm going to say it. If I want something, I'm going to ask for it. Um, if I feel what I feel, I'm going to say, this is how I feel about that. That's all there is to it. So this is what I feel. If you're in business, you gotta talk to me. If you're struggling with something, come and talk to me. Send me a private message. You know, I don't like anyone ever feeling like they're alone in life. We can be surrounded by millions and millions of people and feel alone. I used to, my first ex-husband, and I would get up and sit on the couch and cry for hours wishing I could pick up the phone. And I know I've told you guys this before, don't be that person, please, please, please don't be that person. If you're hurting, if you want something more, if you feel that there's something better in life, we need to talk. Caroline told me one time when I first met her, and I'd known her for a few years, Caroline McIntosh, amazing woman, um, we serendipitously met. Um, when, when was that? April, I think it was. I think April or beginning of May. And, and uh, we started talking. We we're all talking about what we want. You know what she said to me? She said, God would never give you a desire or a thought or a dream if it wasn't meant to happen, if it already hasn't happened. I looked at her and I'm like, what do you mean by that? And she's like, well, really, think about it. Would, would God dangle something in front of you go, na 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 you have a desire, but you can't have it? No, he's already said how many times if you're, if you have any kind, I'm not talking religion. I'm talking about spiritual belief and belief in God. If you believe that he says you ask, ask and it shall be given. How do we know what to ask if we don't, if it hasn't already been given? Like not to get off on a totally philosophical thing, but we don't know what to ask if that isn't already something that is meant for us to have. So just ask for it. Yes consequences to asking can be scary because it means major major changes major huge changes but you know what i can honestly tell you to be afraid of making a step because of the tra the change that's going to happen don't be afraid of it cuz that day when someone came to me and talked to me about network marketing had i said i don't know i don't i don't know i don't know if i can do that um Man, I can't even imagine how sad my life would be right now. And I will say that. My life would have been sad. But it's not sad now. I mean, I've traveled so much. Like, I just, I came home like, okay, hey, yep, going to Ottawa. And they're like, really? But aren't you tired? Yeah. <laughs> Sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> and even then, no. I just move on to something else, right? So for me, it I live on helping others. That's what I'm all about. Very right, Tom. You have to ask. If you don't ask, how can it be given to you? And when you when you put it out there, when you ask and you speak the words, he is, the universe is just waiting for you to say, this is what I want in my life. And the minute you ask for it and you take the step, because you can't just say, well, I, I, I want to have a six-figure income every single month or I want to help you know, people who've, women who've lived in abusive situations, or I want to help you remember who you are, but I can't help you if I don't find it myself. And if I don't ask, the universe isn't going to bring those things to you to help you find it. Right? We may think we want something and there may, may be things in the way that aren't going to allow it to be brought to you right away. But if it's meant to be, if it's meant to happen, if you're meant to have it, 
if that is supposed to be in your life, what you need to do, and I'm saying this for me, because I need this reminder today, you ask for what you want, you put it out into the world and the universe and, and let go and let God and say, this is what I want in my life. This is the type of things I want in my life. This is the type of people I want in my life. These are the kinds of relationships I want in my life. And then you take the steps to move in that direction. And when you move in that direction, God and the universe will meet you backward, will meet you and carry you to the rest of the way. And it will work out the way it is supposed to. But in the meantime, you just take the steps, you ask, and you keep moving forward. Um, and I need to remind myself that because I've asked. I've asked a lot this weekend. I've asked a lot this week. And I know where I want to be in three months from now. I know where I want to be at the end of this year. So I've asked for it. I've put it out there. And now i got to do the work. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So taking names, making calls, kicking butt. And that's what we're doing. So message me on Facebook. Let's chat. Let's continue the conversation underneath the video. Because while I know that there are some of you watching it today, and I'm, I'm truly blessed that you are watching this live, I know that the majority are going to watch this on the replay. So let's continue this con con conversation underneath the video in the chat. Let's help each other. Let's help inspire each other and help each other be better, greater, bigger. Because you know what? And this is in my emails, and I, I should remember what it is. I'm going to bring it up because I always forget and yet it's in every single email that I send because I want everyone that I interact with to know this. So this is how I'm going to, going to end all of my lives moving forward because if you haven't, 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 if you haven't cleaned your teeth on Facebook Live in front of everybody and gotten lipstick off your teeth like I did the other day, oh my god, okay. Only clean lipstick. I mean, the whole pick in the nose thing, you don't want to do that on Facebook Live because, like, ain't, ain't nobody want to see that. But remember, okay, I want you to remember this, that you can be, do, and have anything you want in life because you are strong, you deserve it, and because you have greatness within, and all you need to do is ask. I love you all. I hope you have a beautiful Tuesday, and um, I'll catch you on the next one. Okay? Love you all. Just ask. That's right. All you have to do is ask. Ask out loud. Speaking the words is scary. You can think them. He already knows when you think it, but he likes it when you ask. The universe likes it when you ask. So, love you all. Have a beautiful day. See you on the next one.